we will continue our discussion on spinal cord ependymomas so in this session regarding the spinal cord tumors specifically the ependymomas we will try to answer this question can spinal cord ependymomas be cured what is the best treatment option available so whenever a patient is told that you have spinal cord ependymomas this is the first question which he has in his brain can i be cured so let's answer this question for the sake of our patients can spinal cord ependymoma be cured a brief introduction regarding the spinal cord ependymoma it in the spinal cord ependymomas are spinal cord tumors they arise from the central canal of the spinal cord they arise from the central canal of the spinal cord from the ependymum from the ependymal cells they are one of the most common spinal cord tumor they account for approximately 40 to 60% of all the spinal cord tumors in adults and, and about 20 to 30% in children and coming to the prognosis the prognosis of the ependymoma of the ependymoma depends on varying factors of which the including ones are the tumor location the size of the tumor the grade of the tumor and the patient age so what are the treatment options available we have different kinds of treatments available one surgery second one is the radiation therapy third one is the chemotherapy the primary treatment for spinal cord ependymoma is the safe maximal surgical removal of the tumor radiation therapy used to treat spinal cord ependymomas that cannot be completely removed are to target any remaining tumor cells so it is an important part of the treatment plan but rarely it's the primary so the primary treatment for spinal cord ependymoma is safe maximal surgical removal of the tumor whenever possible for any residual tumor you give radiation therapy to target the remaining tumor cells chemotherapy is given in some rare cases but it has very limited role in the treatment of spinal cord ependymomas so prognosis come to this this slide answers can spinal cord ependymomas be cured Grade one ependymomas are typically considered benign. They have a very favorable prognosis and with a high chance of cure, especially when completely resected. But the dictum is we follow safe maximal excision. So whenever possible, we try to remove the maximum part of the tumor, leaving those part of the tumor which are densely adherent to the spinal cord or the spinal nerves. Grade two tumors have a variable prognosis, and complete surgical excision is associated with better outcomes. Grade three ependymos, ependymomas are considered malignant, and they have a lower chance of cure. The location, the location of the spinal cord ependymoma also impacts prognosis, with some locations being more challenging to treat due to their proximity to critical structures in the spinal cord. typically the spine the ependymomas which are in the cervical cord that is in the neck have more complications compared to ependymomas which in the lower part of the spinal cord like the lumbar ridge prognosis also depends on the age of the patient it better outcome seen in children in addition to this the size of the tumor also affects the prognosis natural a smaller size of tumor can be removed completely easily if it will have less uh, influence or less mass effect or less compression on the spinal cord so earlier you the tree the l in the smaller the size and probably the improbably lower grade like grade 1 or 2 so an early diagnosis and early treatment is associated with a better prognosis follow up care regular follow up with appointments regular follow up appointments with a healthcare provider are important for spinal cord ependymoma patients to monitor for any signs of recurrence or complications follow up examination includes imaging tests such as mri or ct scan as well as neurological examinations to assess the tumor status and the patient's overall well being 
rehabilitation and supportive care are an essential part of treatment for spinal cord ependymoma patients, particularly those who experience neurological deficits or functional limitations as a result of the tumor or its treatment. Conclusion Spinal cord ependymoma can be cured in many, particularly when diagnosed early and treated with a combination of surgery and radiation therapy and very rarely chemotherapy. Prognosis depends on various factors including tumor grade, location, resectability, patient age and also the size of the tumor. Regular follow-up and monitoring are essential for detecting any signs of recurrence or complications. It is very important to work closely with a qualified healthcare team to develop an individualized treatment plan and receive appropriate follow-up care. So, as I tell you every time, it's very important to consult a qualified healthcare professional for accurate diagnosis, treatment and management. This presentation is an overview and it should not be considered as a medical advice. Thank you.